Hello and welcome to the ProPresenter for Windows Public Beta. Uh, this is going to be a brief overview of some of the differences between the ProPresenter for Windows version and the ProPresenter for Mac version. Uh, largely they're very, very similar. I'm going to go ahead and launch it here as I get started. Uh, you'll notice that the interface is actually uh, nearly identical to the Mac interface and that's intentional. We want anybody that is familiar with the Mac to be able to step in and start using the Windows version very, very quickly. We have this information center at the very start of the application. This is going to allow you to, this is going to kind of be your resource for getting assistance. Uh, uh, during this public beta period, we are not actually supporting it via email or by phone. So the user forms, which there's a link for right here at the bottom, is, uh, is kind of the heart of where we're actually um, supporting the, the ProPresenter for PC platform. We do have some known issues with the software, um, but we still want to hear your feedback for how you're wanting to work with the software and any kind of glitches that you might see. That's going to be the place to put it is again right on the user forums, right on the Renewed Vision website. Uh, we also, uh, mo from, for the vast majority of what you're actually going to experience on the ProPresenter for Windows application, uh, you can actually use our video tutorials to become familiar with how the software actually works. We have a number of different tutorials right on our website that you can view right within the ProPresenter application by clicking on that video tutorials option and that will actually bring up uh, these different tutorials that we have for ProPresenter, uh, ProPresenter version 4. <coughs> But by and large, the interface, as you say, as I said, was is very similar. As I click on different songs in the library, you'll see it's changing the slides that exist here. It's a point-and-click interface, and I can use arrow keys if I wish to, to to skip through the different slides. My backgrounds exist by hitting the video and image bin here, and that's going to show my video and images at the bottom, which again, I can just click through uh, and uh, to make those live. And you see we have a nice smooth cross-dissolve between these different slides, and there's what the full view looks like uh, as I click through these different slides. Further, um, we have a number of different options that are that are unique kind of to ProPresenter with regards to the way that we deal with layering of backgrounds and videos and messages and props. So I would very much encourage you to look at the tutorials for the Mac so that you can kind of become familiar with sort of the um, the the basics for how we deal with these different layers of, of media. Uh, the one big difference between the Mac platform and the PC platform is, is on the Mac platform to select slides for moving around or editing, we actually have the command key and the command key looks something like this on the Mac platform. Um, but on the PC we don't have such a key so we're actually going to use the control key. So if you want to select a, a uh, slide for editing just hold down the control key and then just click on it you see that it changes to blue. And at that point, whenever I click on a, a slide, I can actually click it and drag it and move it to a different location. So that's the big difference between the Mac platform and the PC platform is the use of the control key as, a as opposed to the command key. Um, otherwise, everything should be roughly the same. So again, take a look at the tutorials for the Mac side. Uh, and we'll be getting additional versions and features out very, very quickly based on your content uh, and based on your feedback. So welcome again, and we hope you enjoy using it.